All right, so I hate to say it, but I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, so here's a real-time look at the Arsenal booting up in the field. Now, I did get this thing to start faster when I was at my house initially, but this particular time took about one minute. But we did get some usable shots. Okay, so I apologize we haven't left this spot yet, but the Arsenal 2 has been working a bit faster than the Mark 1. Except for this shot, I'm doing an exposure bracketing. I've done two right before this, but this particular shot, I'm stuck on shot one, and I've been here for about a minute. Now, after firing off two shots, the arsenal got stuck when I was trying to do this bracket. Now, if you watch the time step in the top left corner, you can see that about three to five minutes have passed. Needless to say, it was a bit annoying, especially knowing that the arsenal could not perform when it comes to speed, and that could be a critical issue depending on what kind of photography you are doing. Okay, so Arsenal 2, here we are per usual. It's been about three minutes. Oh, it finally connected, but my camera turned off. That was about three minutes to connect this time. <laughs> it's a lot like the Arsenal 1. I didn't have this issue originally when I came out here, but this time I did. Okay, so while we're waiting for the Arsenal to do its thing, hopefully it does, I'll give you a little rundown as to my current situation. So we moved out of the frozen tundra that is Duluth, Minnesota to the upstate of South Carolina. So we traded in snow for rain. That said, the arsenal I have is the standard version, not the pro, which means I don't have weather sealing and it is a bit wet out, but it's not raining. So hopefully the arsenal performs just fine. So be prepared to see less bitter cold videos, at least for now, I still miss the Northland. I'll probably be back sooner rather than later, but let's enjoy this weather while we can, huh? Okay, back at it with the arsenal, and I think we are stuck. It has been three minutes on shot number one. The arsenal has failed. Poor quality control is gonna be a major theme of this video when you see shots that look like this with the arsenal too, and we'll go over that later. So some of the new technologies of the Arsenal really intrigued me. Two of which, one would be the crowd control where you can delete people from your composition. And number two is the deep color. So that said, we'll probably be using the ladder because this is a hiking trail. And frankly, I don't know any good places to shoot in the upstate because I'm barely new to the area. I did live here as a child, but I don't remember any hiking trails other than the mountains and with gas prices the way they are, I'm pretty far away from that. So we're gonna keep it nice and easy. It is a grayscale day. We might not see any cool subjects. So the arsenal is gonna have to do some of the heavy lifting on the post-production side or rather in house production. So I found a couple sad looking flowers and patches of whatever grass and we'll try to boot up the arsenal and get some nice shots. Here's arsenal smart mode working as it should and the Mark 1 did a great job as well. This isn't a stacked image of any sort, rather the artificial intelligence doing what it needs to do with one single image. So right now we're trying the focus bracketing option. And let me just say, it's rather quick. It's working a lot faster than the Arsenal 1. And it's actually working, so there's a plus. Okay, one thing to keep in mind too is that all of these pictures are gonna be unedited and for the most part, JPEGs only. Ultimately, we'll see when we get back to the house and review them on the computer. Well, they don't call it the Dirty South for nothing. <laughs> well, I can't take ownership over that. My friend helped me drive down here in a U-Haul. The first thing he noticed was all the garbage on the sides of the roads. So yeah, shout out to Ty Olson Photography for that little pun. Well, it's not really a pun, it's the truth. This place is pretty filthy. Could be beautiful. It's a pretty beautiful place other than that. All right, so that's an interesting tree over there. 
If the arsenal connects, we're gonna take a nice vertical shot because you can't be taking only landscapes. But it looks like we are not connecting, huh? Much like the rest of the country these days, the arsenal works when it wants to. Not when it needs to. Or when it does need to work, it doesn't want to work. It's a confusing little conundrum where you run into both with the Arsenal Mark 1 and 2 and society at large. Well, 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 look what we got here. Some will call that littering, but who's to say I didn't put that there? It was left by, I don't know, the universe, the heaven above, whoever you believe in. I think it's product placement. So we're gonna go ahead and try out Arsenal's handheld mode, maybe, or we can do it like we did it in the original and phone one hand, Arsenal the other. Sorry if the moon's out early. Now, has this ever happened to you? You're trying to take a nice shot in nature and some dope is breathing out of his mouth, standing right in your composition. Well, no need to fear, the Arsenal will remove people from your image as long as they are moving. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just moving around the field, hogging up my own composition, seeing if the arsenal deletes me. So is it working? <laughs> we will see because I'm standing right in the way. This is what crowd control looks like and how did I not see this coming? Okay, so right now we are trying out the long exposure mode, taking 12 images and seeing if that's enough to make this look like a long exposure. Now, I'm not someone that uses this technique at all, but a lot of people swear by it. And benefits to this include more resolution in your image and you can go without using an ND filter if it is a little bit bright out like it is today. So we'll see how this turns out. Again, I emphasize you have to save your single images taken with the arsenal so you can at least post produce when needed. That preview looked a bit shaky. If bad comes to worse, I suppose you can go home and post-produce all of the images I took into one usable one, but then again, that kind of defeats the purpose of using the Arsenal if I have to do that. The reason I think the Arsenal and the Arsenal 2 are a good option is for people who are travelers or they want to pack light, maybe not take the computer with them on every shoot or vacation, and they can still do all of their nice looking long exposures, HDR and post-production shots without necessarily needing to post-produce. All right, so my first impressions of the Arsenal so far is other than the hiccups at the very beginning, it performed as it should have. It was a little bit faster than the original. That said, I was only shooting JPEGs for this video and the Arsenal simply works as it should for the most part. Now I say that because some of the stacks, regardless if they were focus, bracketing, or exposure, HDR, what have you, the images were a bit hit and miss. Some of them were nice looking and crisp and others were jittery so i went ahead and post processed a couple as i would including the river shot which turned out jittery and the first tree shot because it just looked a bit weird and low resolution straight from the arsenal as for the deep color i didn't really see it but then again it was an overcast day and we were in the woods so i don't fault the arsenal for that the connectivity of the device was a bit better than the first there is still some issues i had with arsenal of camera camera to phone consistency but for the most part it was better keynote i just want to go over the customer service of arsenal 2 because getting my unit shipped to my new location was a complete mess i did get my address changed like usual and all of my mail came except for the arsenal 2 even though i asked them in advance if they could ship the new unit to my location here in the south However, they refused to do so, and the Arsenal 2 was shipped to my old house where there's new tenants living in, and I had to get someone to physically go into my old mailbox, fish out the Arsenal 2, and ship it to my new location, which is very, 
very sketchy. But yes, Arsenal didn't want to switch my shipping and I would have been down a product if I did not have very good friends. In conclusion, the Arsenal Mark II is a bit more intuitive than the Mark I. There is still some of those connectivity issues as of right now. The modes do work faster, but they're not that consistent as of now. I mean, I'd say just check on your shots and see what your brackets look like and always have the JPEGs ready. That way you can at least do it post-production if you know how to. So we'll get on the near future, update after update. We'll continue to cover this device. Okay, so that's it for now. Expect a couple more Minnesota videos to come because I went out when it was frigid and took some very nice images, but can't find the SD card. So other than that, yes, we are in South Carolina indefinitely. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Oh, subscribe to my Instagrams at Matt's Notes and the Tanto Keith. See ya.